Tell me and I forget. Show me and I remember. Let me do it and I will understand. Learning via practicing firsthand, learning via doing things rather than learning via listening in lectures. So I believe that, that uh, what we're doing now uh, at the moment is to, uh, that we teach engineering in a too orthodox way, in a very conservative um, way. In other words, that um, engineering as being taught right now is not open enough to the uh, influence, positive influence from other fields. And we have to change it. Why? Because the profession of an engineer uh, changes substantially. Engineers are becoming uh, chic, people-oriented. Uh, they, they tend to work together with uh, colleagues from uh, a variety of, of fields. So you have to have an open mind to embrace uh, um, uh, different points of view that are being offered by colleagues that see the same thing differently. You have to try to uh, the design the education process the way that creativity is becoming a very natural element of it. Because people they have to, they cannot be afraid of being uh, creative. I strongly believe in fact that uh, sometime from now there, there will be uh, a seamless process of uh, um, education. We would have students uh, that, that will be floating from one field to another depending on one's um, interest in, in life rather than, than being uh, pre-assigned to a particular program. There's another proverb that I like very much. If you want to go fast then travel alone. If you want to go far in life, then travel together. So that is very important to make sure uh, that, that we're going to facilitate the new type of education, um, allowing our students to travel together uh, in order to understand better problems that they have to deal with, but also traveling together with professors in a more direct way way in order to learn how to solve problems that they are facing them. We are all becoming people that care about uh, applying our knowledge in order to serve the world the better.